Yo, what's up guys? I'm reposting help me because you guys said that you can hear over the music and I made something unclear. First off, this girl that I'm mentioning, Kristen, we're, we're not together. I've just liked her since my freshman year and she's liked me. But we're not together. We've talked about at some point being together, but right now she's managing, as far as I know, three jobs and she's going to school. And I... I'm not sure if I'm mentally ready for a relationship just due to a hard breakup. But my question is, is, um, she, we make plans a lot to hang out, and sometimes we try to hang out, but for the most part, she doesn't show up. And she normally doesn't even tell me why. She just doesn't show up, doesn't text me, doesn't call me, doesn't return any of my calls or texts, just... Um, just, you know, acts like I don't exist. Sometimes, a couple days later, she'll get back to me, but this re last time that she bailed, she didn't. And, um, I, so I'm curious, uh, what you guys would do, and, uh, make it very clear that I like this girl probably more than I should. Um, I've liked her for a long time, and... Even though I've dated other girls, she's always kind of been in the back of my mind. So, it's that kind of like, and that's why, probably why, I can't just move on like I've, you know, like I've been told before. But, I guess I'm curious, how would you guys would handle that? Also, she has some things in mind that are very c close to me. So that's one of the big reasons I'm talking to her. But, um, how would you handle it? what would you do? Would you just forget it and say, screw the stuff, you know, screw the things you want to get back and just move on and try and be, and just be healthy and just say fuck it? Or, or what? And my second part to this video is, I have a friend who, to, for, to be kind, he's very sexual, he jumps into very immature relationships, like, he dates a person, goes on one or two dates, and then they're together. And right now, he's with this girl who he's constantly complaining about things he doesn't like about her, or things that she does that he doesn't like, or whatever, you know. Also, his mom is very judgmental, doesn't like that she's a bigger girl. There shouldn't be anything wrong with it, that, but there is according to her, and that's also getting him riled up, but my problem is he comes c constantly asking for advice, and he doesn't take it, but he'll call me 15 times a day, or text me, or both, and I just, you know, I don't mind helping people, but it's like when they don't listen, what's the point, point? and I'm, I'm sure you guys are thinking, oh, well, just don't talk to him anymore, well, I have a brother who talks to him, and is more f so friends with him than I was, even though I met him first. Um, and my brother gets riled up and thinks, oh, I can't believe that he's doing this shit, blah, 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 you know. But my problem with that is that my brother, he just gets so riled up about it that he just goes on and on and on and on and on. And I want, I don't want to be, I don't want any part of it. I haven't talked to the kid since two days ago now, I think it is, because I told him off, because I, I basically told him, I was like, I'm done fucking talking about it, you don't want to listen, you never want to listen, you always end up doing your own thing, but for whatever fucking stupid reason, you go looking for advice, because it's like, why ask for advice if, if you're not going to take it, so how would you deal with that, and the fact that you're living with somebody who's so involved in the situation, that he gets so riled up that he'll go on and on and on and on and doesn't listen to anything you have to say. So, I hope this video is a lot more clear. I hope uh, you guys will comment, rate, subscribe, or like, comment, like, dislike, whatever. Um, hopefully, you guys will have some helpful tips for me. Alright, peace.